Well, you guys got another bug fix video here for you for Windows 10. There was a problem reset in your PC. No changes were made. Microsoft know about this bug. Basically, when you go to reset your PC, it won't let you reset and you'll get this blue screen error message. Let me show you some of the things you can try to try to get out of this issue and try to reset your PC if you're having problems. The first thing that you want to try is SFC space forward slash scan now uh, this was also recommended by microsoft themselves basically what this will do is verify all the files on your system are working perfectly fine and it's uh, going to try to fix now, there's no error on this system but you can see windows resource protection did not find any uh, integrity violations you may have a different message there which does actually find and try to fix it and if it can't fix it it will give you that message the next thing that Microsoft also recommend you do is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image and then space forward slash restore health. Once you run run this, it will try and restore the health of the image and try to get it uh, back up and running properly. And then you can try to reset this PC again once that is completed. It does take a fair bit of time, so be patient. Could take up to 20 minutes to run that particular scan. So just let it. Um, run that scan for you next up hold the shift key down your left shift key down and restart the pc and this will get you to choose an option go into troubleshoot here and then also into advanced options once you get here you want to go into command prompt this will restart the system and bring you into a command prompt what you see here click on your username and put in your password if you have one if you don't just push continue and this will open up the command prompt box. Next, we're going to put in a, a few commands here to try and resolve this issue. So next, you want to put in this command here, which is cd space percentage windr percentage backslash and then system32. And then you want to do backslash config in there and then push enter. So once you've run that command, run this next command here, which is ren space system and then space system.001 and then push enter and uh, that's going to re rename the system here so just push enter on that one and then next up we want to do the ren space software and then space software.001 and then push enter again so just do those one at a time and push enter and then basically try to use your P reset pc by going back into your uh, troubleshoot here and then reset this pc and try to run it and see whether it allows you to reset your pc from here again so keep my files or do a clean install from here you can do local reinstall or cloud download uh, download cloud download will download it from the internet so you will need an internet connection to run that basically and just run this and it will give you some options on the screen and just follow that through and you should then be able to reset your pc Go back into troubleshoot here and then advanced options if you're still having issues and then try system restore if you have system restore enabled. If you see this error message here, then you won't be able to use system restore. It means you haven't got it configured or uh, set up on your system and you won't be able to use that if you're still having issues with running reset this PC. Other than that, that, that is the system restore point. So let me just show you one more thing you can try here. So go down to uh, the search box type CMD and open up the command prompt once again and we can try this uh, command here now sometimes some people have said that this has resolved their problem and they've been able to use reset this PC and restore their PC uh, back to a time when it was working correctly so try that command and then try resetting your PC once you've tried that if you've tried all these things and you're still having some sort of issue then the time is to go to Microsoft's website and download the media creation tool and reset your PC. You can download that tool and install it. You will need a USB flash drive, eight gigs and above, and then create a bootable uh, USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it, and then boot to that USB flash drive and install Windows 10. You will need to back up all your data, but sadly, that is the only way you're gonna resolve this problem if you're having continued issues it means your operating system is completely messed up and you will need to reinstall at some point so you might as well do it now back your data up and 
do an install here and you can use this method now i have made full videos on how to create a bootable usb flash drives with windows 10 on them so i'm not going to show you the whole procedure again basically you don't want to bore you to tears but check out some of my videos on my previous uh, videos i've done on windows 10 and you should see how to create a bootable usb flash drive with windows 10 on it and the different versions of that as well using rufus and other software anyway i think that's going to be about it a big special thanks to all those people that have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support guys it really does mean a lot to me so thanks again for joining my youtube members group my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video real soon have a great weekend guys and stay safe out there and i shall see you again real soon bye for now